Good afternoon. I thought I'd do the final newsletter for the term virtually, so just to give you a little bit of a rundown of how our term's gone and what to look forward to in term three. Look, I've just returned from the Vinnie's CEO sleep out this morning and must say that uh, I slept as I normally do, so I don't know what that means, but I, I really did enjoy the experience and the possibility of raising funds for homeless people through the St Vincent de Paul Society. As we stand, we have about $8,500 raised, and I thank the entire community for their generosity in supporting St Vincent de Paul and the Homeless Sleep Out Initiative. Can I thank everyone for the term, that's the parents, the students, the staff, and the wider community who've been involved. It's been a really busy term. We've had a lot of co-curricula, a lot of curriculum initiatives, as well as, um, the general running of the day with things like mass, etc., changes to our schedule. Um, we really value all the extra things that happen here, but we also make sure that the boys are all doing their schoolwork and trying to get the best results possible. We're still dealing with COVID-19 to an extent. Um, most events are going ahead, but with some changes. Our hope is that we can have as normal a year as possible this year depending on what happens nationally and obviously within Queensland. So thanks for everyone for supporting that and making sure that we remain safe during the term. Can I say that I've been really impressed with the growth in some of our boys over this term? And um, I'd perhaps like to highlight some recent events that have occurred. I visited one of the Year 12 re retreat sites yesterday and I know Mr Larry, Mr Knight and Miss Wardrop visited at the other retreat sites. Um, the young men out there have been outstanding. They've engaged, they've spoken with a le level of maturity, a depth of thought, which is really remarkable for men so young. So I thank the staff that have led that and our Year 12 boys. Year 9 camp has also gone very well and the boys have engaged very well there. I think COVID-19 asked the boys to think about what they miss out on and they've all turned up bar a few who are ill or sick and uh, it's been a great experience for our boys. So I thank Miss Lucina and all the staff that have led that. And our year 10 block exams, that's their first block exams. And I know Mr Knight spoke to them around expectations, but they've turned up well-dressed, prepared and ready to go. So congratulations to year 10 as well. Um, can I also uh, thank the LCC and the committee and particularly Kerry Collins for the gala dinner that happened uh, this year. It was a massive success to the point where we are looking at other venues uh, next year so we can have an experience which involves more of our families. So thank you for everyone involved in that experience. I'd like to talk very briefly about our sport for this term. Um, you may be aware that approximately 1,200 boys were involved in chess, rugby and football this term. It's a remarkable program and I thank Ed Wallace and his team for all the work that was done in that area. It's our most successful chess season ever with aggregate uh, championship for chess and first four being the undefeated premiers. Uh, and I'd like to congratulate the community in supporting chess, which doesn't always have great support at some schools and in our history hasn't always had great support. So I thank the seniors in particular for that. Our footballers, our open football team, finished a very tight second and that was a remarkable performance considering that many of them are so young in being in year 10 and 11. Um, I congratulate the seniors for how they've led the football and I thank the coaching staff there as well. Well done to our boys in the, in the first football and we were successful at first rugby in winning our first premiership since 2008. An undefeated premiership and I thank the boys for their engagement. Also thank those boys involved because they were regularly at younger games supporting the grade fives, sevens, sixes, eights, nines, etc. So thank you for everyone involved in term um, two sport. It is our biggest sporting season. Our music performances have come to an end as well for this term with many more coming next term. Music have a year round program, but we really had a two week period where there were many performances. So I thank Ross Capern and his team for the music and the music supporters group in particular. Uh, over the holiday break, uh, we'll be looking at um, some uh, events as well. I wish all boys on the Red Earth immersion well as they go to Cape York with our staff. 
that's uh, an immersion that can go ahead during COVID times. And I thank Mr Caulfield in particular for organising that and we wish them well. For our rugby league boys as they journey to um, Linden to Iona College for confraternity, I wish them well also. Um, a couple of um, developments that I'd like to talk about over the holidays is we're also refurbishing the Scion classrooms. So they'll have new furnishings, new carpet, etc. But those classrooms are in need of some repair so the boys will return to an excellent learning environment, which will mean the entire school has been refurbished and air conditioned in the last three years. The um, areas that I'd like to focus on is really a development for next year. Um, next year we'll move to four lessons of about 72 minutes in length. Now that's a real change in the way our teachers teach and the boys learn. I've mentioned that in newsletters briefly, but the focus is there is where the boys can do more deep learning in the classroom and they can focus on developing their skills to be successful in year 11 and 12. So um, I'll have more information about that as the term goes on. At this stage, we look like we'll have one lesson, morning tea, two lessons, lunch, and then a fourth lesson in the afternoon. The reason we're doing that is a lot of our boys start their school day at half past six, and we think having a late morning tea is not a very good idea. Events next term that I think we need to be aware of, the year nine to 10 subject selection is a most important evening for our boys and our families. They will choose those subjects for a three year period. Now we do know boys can change in year 10, but we find it a significant event in their career, in their education, and moving forward into the future. So I ask all parents to engage and be ready for those meetings, please, and have conversations with your sons. Our walkathon is also next term. At this stage, we can go ahead. We've got approvals from government agencies to be able to walk, and I know the boys are looking forward to that. Our funds raised will go to a variety of charities, and I'll have that information to you early next term. And again, we begin our music and sports programs in um, term three as well, as well as we have the St. Lawrence's annual sports day, which is held on the Echo Wednesday. It is an iconic day and particularly our senior parents, I invite you there to attend your last sports day. It's always a great, um, great event. Can I congratulate Kelsey Doyle who's our Indigenous Liaison Officer, as well as um, Mr Caulfield, on developing our Reconciliation Action Plan, our RAP. We've done a lot of work on making sure that we're um, doing the right thing with regard to Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people in this community, as well as those outside the community. And I thank uh, Paul for developing that plan. We have run a number of events around awareness and we're running programs to support and invite Indigenous people to our school. Um, the final thing I'd like to um, say is to our seniors, our year 12s, term three is an extremely important uh, term for their senior assessment. Most boys will have their assessment complete internally by mid term three. That means they may need to do some holiday work they may need to do assignment work, they may need to do some study and revision. We then move for preparation for external assessment with exams being held very early in term four. So it's an extremely important time for our year 12s to be focused, particularly on their studies. Organisation is essential and we ask that our boys take that uh, message to heart and work really hard next term. The leadership of our 12s has been exceptional this year and I commend them all, particularly our formal leaders, but all of our leaders that are in year 12. I did an enrolment interview this morning and I'll talk very briefly about how proud I was following that interview. The boys' parents that I interviewed get the bus from the Mansfield area. And I asked, why have you chosen St. Lawrence's over other schools? And he's moving in year nine, it's a mid-year movement. And the response was, the school is inclusive of all, but the behaviour of your boys on the buses is the best of anyone. It is beyond reproach and excellent. So that doesn't always happen. I'm not a fool. I know sometimes um, students let us down and we don't always do the right thing. But the culture of the school is one where we are respecting each other. 
we respect ourselves and we respect our families. And if it isn't, it'll always be challenged here. I wish you well with your three week break and I hope that all boys return refreshed and ready for term three. And I wish you all well, thank you.